wheel. The wheel is made by God. It's like a city in the sky. And I saw a new Jerusalem. In 60 seconds, the new draft report on UFOs. The Pentagon's expert warning about a possible mothership coming close to Earth. Ezekiel saw this 595 years before Jesus was born in a vision. When Elijah Muhammad met Master Farad Muhammad in 1931, he showed him the wheel actually in the sky. It's there now. It's a half a mile by a half a mile. It's like a city. It has 1,500 little wheels on it that are destructive bombing planes. Uh, our military pilots are spotting these, and, and we've seen this, we've seen this reported a lot, but they're not allowed to testify here soon. Oh, I want you to listen. But you see, this lion ain't roaring because he don't have no backup. Right, and so this UFO encounter then becomes a, a way of understanding Minister Farrakhan in that it gives his life coherence. In fact, I argue it's the most important religious idea in the nation of Islam. It's extremely important. The will, its reality, its purpose is in many ways central to our theology. words, the UFO is emerging as a major topic of global importance. Um, I, I can state that as a fact. It was the Nation of Islam that started the so-called UFO phenomenon. And I think it's strangely ironic that the very people who brought you this truth, who was arrested for sharing this truth, who are on record for being the first and only group to give definitive details about these planes, but now during all your UFO discussions, it's strange that they deliberately leave out the core group responsible for this phenomenon. Now, why this doesn't you know, show up in this way in other scholarship, your guess is as good as mine. And I think the religions push back on it because it violates their own exclusive revelations or their own truth claims. And the 12th point is we believe Allah came to us in the person of Master Farad Muhammad, a man. Now, why don't you rake us across the coals with that? Silence. Can't deal with it. Uh, and these are pervasive in scripture. It's not simply that these bodily parts are attributed to God. But even activities like God's seeing the distress of his people or God's hearing their cry are anthropomorphic descriptions. The people need to know that this teaching is not religious doctrine. It's a verifiable body of knowledge from reliable people, and as the technology is getting better, our technology is getting better, we're now capturing these things on our handheld devices. And why is the military and the government not just being honest with us? Why are they overclassifying it? Why aren't they being transparent? Because once black people wake up and they know that there is a savior on the scene, that they know that God is a man, that they know that they are more than what they've been made into, then you're gonna have a mass of people rise up. The wheel has been seen over every major country on the earth. And the scientists are gathering in different parts of the world trying to figure out what's going on. We at NASA are acutely aware of the considerable public interest in UAP. So nothing that we are discussing now has not, cannot be proven through research and documentation. So you're not gonna call us liars. You're not going to say that we are dealing with fancy stuff that ain't true and can't be proven to be true. We can show this to be true. The very core and heart of the nation of Islam is founded on this reality that Elijah Muhammad not only met God in person, but was taught by God who came in the person of Master Father Muhammad. UFOs have been the stuff of conspiracy theorists for decades, often mocked for talking about it, but maybe they shouldn't be mocked. 
And although many had mocked and ridiculed this teaching in America today, today, as it has always been when Allah reveals truth to the people, at first, it's rejected, it's mocked, it's ridiculed, but it becomes established. So the Honorable Elijah Muhammad and the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan are being confirmed today.